Just north of Auckland lies Solway Deer Farm. It has won its fair share of awards, but surprisingly, not for the animals. The award that we won here on the farm um, was the Fish and Game Award for Excellence in Riparian Management. It's an award that's come from the deer industry in New Zealand and sponsored by Fish and Game. And it's a national award, so we're feeling pretty pleased. Riparian planting involves protecting the environment by creating a gap between pasture and any streams or rivers. What we're doing here is we're tr trying to protect the waterways. So in the, in the background you can see there's a um, couple of deer fences and all the, the trees in between. In the middle of that there'll be a small stream. And until we did this fencing and planting, the deer had access to that stream. And now um, with that fencing going in, the deer no longer have access. The trees have a chance to be planted and grow and they're doing a really good job of stopping sediment getting into that stream and then flowing on out into the Maharangi Harbour. Shelley says even the local kids are getting on board. The children have a great environmental awareness. They have awesome programs in the schools to do with looking after the environment. They come and do community plantings with other people. Um, the site behind us was a community planting three winters ago, organised through the Maharangi Action Plan. And some of the planters were probably only three years old. So it was a very, very wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs> Not only have they had planting sessions, they also opened their farm up to visitors a few weeks ago. As part of the award, we've had an open day just recently, a couple of weeks ago, where we were open to the public so that people could come and have a look at the riparian management. So all the local deer farmers came, as well as lifestyle block owners, some nice ladies from Snell's Beach, and yeah, it was a really, really neat day. The Solway Farm is just one part of the full initiative. This is just a tiny part of the riparian planting. There's tens and tens of hectares of area that's been retired from the pasture and tens of thousands of plants that have been planted into those areas. So it's quite a, yeah, quite a big project. <laughs> Shelley started the riparian movement when she first brought the farm 15 years ago and she hopes it will continue for generations. Scott Milligan, Country 99 TV News.